Every day. Every day. That's right. But take a look. Chad snapped this up in Flagler County. At least we ended the day on a nice positive note. Beautiful shot there on the water as the pink sky, as they say, what? Pink sky at night? Sailor's delight, right? I guess that's how it goes outside right now. It's dark, of course, but folks are still out and about at the area of theme parks trying to get a little bit of enjoyment out there today after the thunderstorms, of course, that we had rumble on through town. 73 degrees currently, winds nice and uh, we'll call it breezy out of the south at about nine miles an hour, but it was just downright gusty earlier with these thunderstorms that moved through. Take a look at some of our peak wind gusts across town. 51 mile an hour gust reported at Orlando International Airport, about a 41 mile an hour gust at Orlando Sanford Airport, and various locations along Brevard County near about 40 miles an hour. So those storms did pack quite a wallop earlier, but of course, thankfully, we lost that daytime heating and everything is beginning to calm down. So across I 4 from about downtown Orlando through Osceola County into Polk County, still watching some of this light shower activity that will continue to push off towards the east, but even this little cluster. Of heavier cells kind of falling apart as that pushes over towards Cocoa Beach, Keenansville, down to Yeehaw Junction. Some more rain will be moving in there in more rural portions of Osceola County, and this will eventually move into southern Brevard County. So, Palm Bay, Malabar, Barefoot Bay, we'll see some more rainfall before all is said and done, but the severity has come down significantly. Just a couple of lingering showers left. 72 tonight in Claremont, the overnight low will drop off to 70 degrees in the villages, 71 for us in Bushnell, across the metro area, notice 73 in Winter Garden, 73 Orlando, but about 72 degrees for us in Longwood. And then right along the shore, it's temperatures in the lower 70s as well, about 74 though, once you get in around Holopaw and Deer Park. Tomorrow, it's a very similar setup with a couple of tweaks. Generally, a little bit warmer, a little bit drier, but we still keep the thunderstorm threat around 91 in my high temperature for Orlando, about 92 in Winter Haven, 88 for us in Titusville for your Sunday. Lots of clouds. Clouds on the satellite radar composite, and as we look at what's going on, there's this trough of low pressure kind of hanging out. So, as long as it sticks with us, we don't really modify the forecast much. So, here's first alert future cast about midnight tonight. Some showers still lingering across Brevard County, but that all moves offshore. 6 a.m. tomorrow, waking up, it's going to be a cloudy sunrise for the Space Coast, but at least we'll be nice and dry if you've got early morning services or wanting to head out for an early morning bike ride. Here's lunchtime. Nice and quiet, but we're starting to pick up some of that moisture up around Marion and Alachua counties. And then there you go. The West Coast Sea Breeze kicks in. There's 3.30. Showers and storms begin to rush in. And again, from west to east, the storms, they move. Here's a look at your seven-day forecast then. 50% chance of showers and storms for your Father's Day. High of about 91. And then as we look ahead to the work week, standard lower 90s for highs. 40% chance of storms. Not much of an adjustment to our seven-day forecast.